Good evening, you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the most important news of the day. Let's begin. India's coronavirus cases touched the 10 lakh or the 1 million mark after more than 34,000 new cases and over 600 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. Over 6.35 lakh people in the country, which is over 63%, have recovered of the deadly virus. 18-year-old poet and activist Varavara Rao, who has been in jail since 2018 under the stringent UAPA in connection with the Yelga Parishad case, has now tested positive for COVID-19. Doctors at the St. George Hospital have claimed that he is asymptomatic, however, he is unable to walk due to weakness. His family has constantly urged for better medical aid for him since the time he was lodged in jail. In a shocking incident, the Varanasi police have registered a case after members of a Hindutva outfit in Varanasi thrashed and forced a Nepali man to chant Jai Shri Ram. In a video that has gone viral of the incident, people can be seen surrounding the Nepali man and also asking him to abuse Nepal Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and praise Indians for providing the Nepalis with employment and opportunities. In another major news, Scotch Pride has now decided to change its logo and make it more gender neutral. Now, this comes after a social media user pointed out how only certain line of products showed a woman wearing a bindi on the logo. These line of products included bathroom wipes, brooms, bathroom cleaners, etc. After being targeted for gender targeted marketing, Scotch Pride has now promised to change its logo and move on from the regressive beliefs. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.